with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Hello everyone and fellow dreamers, welcome to my channel Lauren's Floating Lights. In today's video, this is one of the most magical moments of my life. We are here at the Bay Lake Tower at Disney's Contemporary Resort for a one night stay in a one bedroom villa with a theme park view. We are actually here today through David's Vacation Club Rentals. They are one of the most amazing and trustworthy services for renting DVC points to stay at the DVC resorts here at Walt Disney World. And we are hosted by them, so thank you so much. As a family, we have used David Vacations Club Rentals for a long time, including staying at Saratoga Springs and the Riviera. So through them you go onto their website and you select the resort that you want to stay at and the amount of nights and the dates throughout the year and they have a cost calculator and their services are 20 to 50 percent cheaper than regularly booking through the Disney website. And how they do it is they communicate with the DVC owners and they rent the points from them and you pay for the points and it's one of the best services ever. This is insane. <laughs> as soon as you come in they do have a board with the recreation activities including movies under the stars and mickey tie-dye and all of the fun things and as it's nearly easter they also have the easter services here as well this is the community hall inside of bay lake tower and you can do little activities in here you can watch movies it's a great place to chill out all included up there is actually where my cousins stayed when they came to visit and i just popped in to see the room i didn't get to stay with them but now we're staying here Wee! I love this outdoor area. They have Connect Four and Giant Chess. Who doesn't love a giant chess board? They have a pool bar, which is called the Cove Bar, and this is going to be the main pool area for Bay Lake Tower. Might be one of the coolest water slide staircases I've ever seen. Just walked from the Bay Lake Tower pool along this walkway, and this is how you get to the Contemporary Resort itself if you, if you don't want to go over the Skyway Bridge. And over here they have boats which you can rent, you can do fishing excursions, you can also rent boats I believe to watch Happily Ever After from the lagoon. And as a Bay Lake Tower guest you can use the pool at the Contemporary as well. Over at the Contemporary pool they have the sand bar which is where we're going to grab a drink. We just got a pina colada from the bar. It's like a pina colada but with raspberry and I love this drink. I love a good rum drink. According to my wonderful husband, the rooms here at the Contemporary were actually built off site and then slotted into place. Yeah, like Lego. Like Lego. Here is a picture inside the lobby of the construction of the Contemporary. Here is Steakhouse 71 which is a lounge and restaurant and it's a Walt themed restaurant. Look at him, I love it so much. They have these amazing pictures of Walt over the years and the glass there is actually from the original restaurant which I believe was called The Wave. That was the restaurant before Steakhouse 71 and they just kept the same glass. The 2024 Easter egg display is actually on the bottom floor this year. All of these are made entirely of chocolate. Look at the Wreck-It Ralph one so 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 creative this is a family classic chef mickey's is going to be based here inside of the contemporary and to get here you can simply walk over the skyway bridge from bay lake tower and you'll be here in less than five minutes the contempo is a very good quick service option for when you stay at this resort and you can mobile order so you can say i'm here prepare my order and it'll be ready for you and you'll just get the notification straight through the app it's also really good to have a look at the menu for allergies as well. Now on the 10th floor, just exploring and look at this incredible themed artwork. Look at Frozone, he looks so cool. This is because the rooms here are actually now Incredibles themed. I've never stayed in one of those, but they look awesome. And you've got a great view of the rest of the building as well and the monorail. So that monorail there is three goats. One on the left has four legs, the one on the right has four legs. But the one in the middle to the right has five legs because of the um, I think the culture or their religion believes that nothing is perfect. So they added an extra leg to the goat. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I'll be bringing you more often, won't I? And there's Monorail Yellow. Our room is ready now, so we are going to walk from the Contemporary Tower over to Bay Lake Tower. This is where the Skyway Walking Bridge is. Oh my God! There's Cinderella Castle. This is actually a great spot to watch the fireworks from Happily Ever After. You can just sit right over there or stand over on this side of the balcony and you've got a great view. You can also see the monorail going past 
and you can actually stand on the bridge. You don't have to be a guest here at the resort to do that. Welcome home, DVC. Heading to the My Disney Experience app, we are gonna be on the seventh floor, so we should have a great view for the fireworks tonight. Floor seven. Look at all of the Mickeys in the carpet. Okay, we're in. This is a one bedroom villa with a si Oh my God. Oh my God, the view. I just, I don't have words. <laughs> I don't actually have any words right now. <laughs> this is what the whole area looks like in a one bedroom villa. So you're gonna have a little dining room slash living room slash kitchen, and it's a full kitchen. You've got an oven, you've got a hob slash stove, pantry, You've got a fridge freezer, coffee machine, dishwasher. So much, I'll show you around. Look at this little area over here with the Space Mountain art, obsessed. You've got a DVD player. You've got the big TV. There's the monorail going past outside. I just, I don't know if any words. So this is the oven and then I like this door. This is very cool, little pantry shelves. And then we've got a sink, toaster. All of this cupboard space, if you were in this resort for like a week or even a couple of days, you could cook in here. Look at this, there's a washer and dryer with provided stuff for you. It's so cool. And then over here, there's a closet, really cute Mickey artwork. And then this is one bathroom out of the two because there is two bathrooms. They have a bath and then you have your H2O products. You've got your toilet, a sink with lots of towels and stuff, a hair dryer. And then we're gonna walk into the bedroom area. This is the giant jacuzzi bath and they have a Cinderella piece of art there. And you can slide this wall back so you can literally like sit in the bath and see everything going on outside. You could even watch the fireworks from in here. They have the sink area, lots of storage space. And then in here is gonna be the shower. So there's two baths and one shower which is amazing. And then they have the second toilet. In this closet, they have the safe. They also have an ironing board as well. This is what the king size bed looks like. It's amazing. I just, wow, it's, just, it's amazing. I just can't get over it. I feel very lucky and very blessed to be stood here. As a second TV, even more storage space. There's even storage space down there. They have a desk with a phone. There's also a phone right next to the bed as well. Just in case, you know, you don't want to walk over there. Then this is the balcony. You can access the balcony from the living room area as well as the bedroom. And this is the view. Can you see in the distance the Magic Kingdom train? Can you see it? I can definitely hear it. The Astro Orbiter right there. And we're going to be able to watch Happy Ever After. And you can see Space Mountain and Tron. And what's great about this is we'll have a great view of all of the fireworks because a lot of them go off behind the park itself. So we're going to be able to see the ones in front of the castle and behind. We also have this spectacular view of the contemporary building as well as the Polynesian, the new DVC rooms that they're building at the Polynesian over there and the Grand Floridian. It's unreal. I actually look a little bit sunburned from just walking around. We are gonna chill out for a bit now and then get changed and head to get the monorail to the Polynesian Resort as we are going to Ohana for dinner. We are now on our way over to the main contemporary building to catch the monorail to go to the TTC and then from the TTC to the Polynesian to Ohana. What do you think of the room? Oh, it's amazing. It's the uh, best. Probably the best uh, hotel room upstairs. Yeah, I agree. I just can't get over it and I'll never get over that view we were just saying that bay lake tower is pretty nice and peaceful because it's separate from the main building of the contemporary so a lot of people walk over the skyway bridge to get back to their rooms but it's just nice and chilled over there and it's really quiet get the monorail you're going to head past the fantasia shop and you're going to go through security and then you're going to walk up an escalator and you'll be right there Something really cool about staying at the Contemporary is you get to go through security here so you don't have to do it once you get to Magic Kingdom. We just made it to the Polynesian from the Contemporary and altogether it took us about 10 minutes. It was great. We're gonna go and check in now and get ready for dinner. Are you excited? 
Me too. This is the allergy friendly menu for Ohana, just in case you need to see it. And there's a lot of great options for gluten free, so I'm super, super thrilled. We just happened to have been sat at probably the best table in the restaurant. I gasped when we sat down. Here's a look at some of the alcoholic drinks. You can also get one with a pineapple as the actual cup, which is cool. And my husband has coconut pineapple bread with honey butter, and then we have the salad to share because that's allergy friendly. And then I have my own bread with my own honey butter. This butter is honey butter at the Poly, and it's my favorite butter in the world. It is unbelievable. The next course just arrived and we have the wings. I've got white rice, roasted veg, and then Paul has, you have noodles with yours, right? Okay, so that's the only difference I think. Oh, and he's got pork dumplings as well. We both went for a raspberry mojito, which has two different types of rum in it, which is great. And I got mine without the lime. This is the current situation of our table. We have so much stuff for two people. I have admitted defeat. I've eaten so much food. There's our resort over there, the contemporary in the distance. What a dream. Hello, we are now back at the Contemporary, aka Bay Lake Tower. We had an amazing time at Ohana. That's one of my personal favorites for gluten-free options because there's just an endless amount of food and I'm not like eating the same kind of thing. I love the honey coriander chicken wings so much. I think I ate like nine. Um, and we love the raspberry mojitos as well. Oh, it was just great, loved it. And we are now back and I'm gonna get a bath before happy ever after. I accidentally put a bit too much bubble bath in there. So now there's a ridiculous amount of bubbles, but I'm gonna have a little read and sit with the view of Cinderella Castle and know that on the outside of our room is the actual Cinderella Castle. I've just had my bath. I'm now stood on the balcony about 20 minutes before happily ever after begins at 8.30 p.m. Look at this sunset. I love Floridian sunsets. There truly is nothing better. And that is monorail yellow. Can you see Tron? It's all lit up. It makes me so happy thinking, oh my gosh, I can see the top of the coaster. I don't know whether you just caught that. It was very, very much in the corner, but I saw it. And yeah, it just makes me happy to think of all the guests that are on that right now for the first time and people that have been on it again and again, but they love it so much. I love that ride. So earlier we did bring our dessert home from Ohana. So we've got the classic bread pudding for Paul. And then I have a gluten-free cinnamon donut, which I'm very excited about. Then we've got vanilla ice cream and the caramel sauce. I've had this donut before when I last went to Ohana and I love it. As someone who's gluten-free, it's just the best to have it warm. It's like a bread pudding, I guess, but for gluten-free people. We have the resort room TV on channel 105 ready for the show. We watched Happy Ever After from the balcony and it was amazing. It makes this room so worth it. Can you see that on the Seven Seas Lagoon? They have the electrical water pageant. Oh my gosh. There's Triton on the end. You see it to the left? Can you hear it? Whilst I'm sorting out the curtains and everything, let's talk about David's Vacation Club rentals and how much I love them. So as I said a little bit earlier on in the vlog, my family have been using David's for a very long time. Um, my aunties and cousins, etc., tend to stay at either Saratoga Springs, Riviera or Bay Lake Tower. I just have never had the opportunity to stay at Bay Lake Tower, so that is why I'm here today. Um, being hosted by David's Vacation Club Rentals. But basically what they do 
is they make your Disney dreams come true without spending as much as you think that you should have to. So when guests book, they can save up to 20 to 50%, I believe, on bookings when they book specifically through David's Vacation Club Rentals. And you can stay at, I think it's 16 different Disney Vacation Club resorts around the world. So that includes Ulani, that includes Disneyland Hotel, that also includes um, all of the Disney Vacation Club resorts here. And yeah, there's just so much that I want to do and Davis Vacation Club Rentals make it possible for people to be able to like tick things off their Disney bucket list. Something else that I really admire about their company is the fact that when you book through them, you are treated like any other Walt Disney World guest. So when my booking came through, my confirmation number, I just popped it into the My Disney Experience app and the reservation came up just as it normally would for any other DVC member and it was under my name and I basically just saw it how anyone else would see it. You also get to enjoy the early park admission and the extended hours as well. Okay guys, as we get ready for bed, I wanted to let you know the room does sleep up to five guests and this pulls out as a twin sofa bed and then this bed is also over here. It's a single bed, you just pull out the armchair this is what it looks like underneath and it's super soft it's like a full-on bed it's amazing so someone can sleep on that one then you've got two people on this one and then two people in the king size bed good morning everyone it is now wednesday the 27th of march we just woke up and it was such a nice night's sleep in the king size bed there's something about Disney beds that just makes me so happy. I did just mobile order our food, so that's going to be from the Contempo Cafe. So I'm going to throw some clothes on and some shoes and go and pick that up and bring it back to the room. I did order the kid size Mickey shaped waffles because it comes with sides of two packets of grapes as well as a water. And then for Paul, I got the breakfast sandwich and that should fill us up ready for the day ahead. Unfortunately, we are not heading into the parks today, which would have been really magical because there is a separate security line for guests entering Magic Kingdom from the Contemporary. It is so convenient and hardly anyone knows about it, but I am currently blocked out due to spring break on my annual pass. For the separate security line, you're gonna head along this walkway to the Magic Kingdom around there and the security line is around here and that just makes you skip the crowds. I'm just walking along the Skyway Bridge to head to the Contempo Cafe to pick up our breakfast. This is a quick reminder, this is where you get the monorail and you're gonna head through security on the left. This is so cool, they have an arcade back here. I didn't see this before. Let's take a look. There is so much going on in here. This is definitely the best arcade I've ever seen at a Disney resort. They even have Star Wars pinball and Guardians. There's even giant basketball. To play the games, you take a new card once you enter the amount of points that you want to buy and it is 50 points for $1. Okay, I'm now heading to the Contempo Cafe. Here are some of the breakfast options and here are some more. You can also get sides. Look at how great this breakfast is. So for Paul, I got the breakfast sandwich, which has egg, ham, and three different types of cheese on it. And then I added a side of bacon and it came with tater tots. And then I got the kids meal, which is the allergy friendly, gluten-free waffles. And it came with two bags of grapes, a drink, two waffles, and I did get some syrup. Saying goodbye to the room. I'll miss it a lot. I'm not gonna cry now. <laughs> you can also see Main Street over there and it was so nice, lit up at night. If you would like to stay in a theme park for your room at Bay Lake Tower, I just 100% recommend booking through David's Vacation Club Rentals. It's so much cheaper and it's seamless. I really, really recommend them. And that is it for today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Do follow along at Lawrence Floating Lights on social media. Have a magical day. See you real soon. Bye.